if you don't know, Karen is my best friend, and I love her dearly, and we have a super relationship, and we like to share what happens daily in each other's lives, and just talk about the future, we talk about the past some, mainly the future, and see, I get on these tangents, I really do, um, <laughs> but, puppies, so, I don't know why I went to, uh, I do know why I went to South Texas to shoot some teal. Josh Butler, Garrett Walker, Quack Rack, Lifetime Decoys, Nick from LED Lights, Ted Wells was there, Rod Knocker, Project Pat, Pete's Jerry, Rod's Tebow, and Garrett's Willie. I was around a lot of dogs in the dog at the duck camp there, and first I want to rewind Texas teal man. It's the most teal I have ever seen. South Texas, South El Campo, super flat, super big, and a lot of teal, a lot of teal. But anyway, as soon as I get back to the airport, been texting Karen. <laughs> Where is it? Been texting Karen. We've been. Throughout the whole trip, as as well as driving back up to the airport, a little a little tight schedule to get to the airport. We got there, John Daly. Thank you very much. He assured me we'd get there, and we did. Um. So one of the first things I do when we start talking is like, Karen, I, I think we need to get a dog. And she's like, Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm not messing around. Sometimes I do like to joke. Uh, no, I'm not messing around. Very much so. Ran some nice dogs this weekend. You know, just. Just think I'm just think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to do it. I wasn't, but now I am. And um, she's like, if you're serious and you think you want to, let's do it. She always supports me. I always bounce everything off of her just to get her opinion. Include her in all that we do. All that I do. Which in turn is all that we do. And I started texting some friends. Do we know of any litters that are around? So after about three days of getting back and getting settled and texting and phone calls and found two litters of nicely bred American labs. Um, couldn't really find anything of Coots Bloodline, which I would have really, ideally, that would have been that would have been my avenue I, I would have liked to went. Um, but um, Coot did not produce that many females. Bristol, well, she was. She was pushing nine when, when we had to put her down anyway, but we never breed Bristol. <laughs> breed Bristol. <laughs> See? Told you. Um, we never bred Bristol. And anyway, just couldn't really find much of Coot's bloodline out there. So, and it would, it would it's fine either way. It's fine either way, but it would have been cool to have something out of Coot's bloodline, but we, we can't find it, so... Time has passed, and it is what it is. But, so next on the list is just try to go find, at least on paper, to a well-bred little black female. And um, we have done that. The deposit has been sent. And on our, kind of, this is another little twist to our story. It just makes it a little more, adds another degree of excitement, I think, or at least Karen would tell you this, is that on our drive up to Canada, we are going to pick up this little seven week American bred black female. So for the filming of Migration Nation in this episode or this season, season number ten of Migration Nation. Don't don't know her name yet. We're gonna wait to see her, hang out with her a day or two. Pup 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 that always works and gets them so they follow you. So the name isn't necessarily hundred percent important, but I, I think we've got it down to two. In my mind, it's down to two. We had to. Karen might disagree, but in my mind, it's down to two. And uh, so, we're going to introduce this little pup for season ten of Migration Nation. So, if I have a relationship for season eleven with Drake and Migration Nation, she'll be a year older and hopefully well on her way to becoming a very well-trained retriever. And for nothing else, we're going to be doing uh, some field goose hunting. Not for the entire trip, but, a, but some portion of it. 
a flashback side note this is a piece of wily cork had a nice little actually a couple couple little teal cut out of the wily so i think this one's going to stick with, stick with me nice little stretched head drake drake ring wing hopefully he floats well but anyway he's going to stay with me um got an old piece of elastin cedar tail too a little bit different than what i'm doing currently 2818. I wanted to put 2008 on that. Hmm, that's not. At the, at the, that's wrong. So I go with an engraver, and it, it, maybe it's hard to see. I know, but I engrave the bottom of the boards, and this this was like from 208, and I put 218, 2018 on it. So I only got to you know fix that one somewhere along the way. Um. So field hunting with geese. My memory, I can keep up sort of kind of with what I'm talking about. Um, that's thought be kind of cool. Cool, get a, some B-roll, some some of the cute cuteness footage. We'll get uh, the young one. I'm gonna start her say her name. The young one will have her out in the field and see what she thinks of, of some geese or some ducks that we shot during the cleanup. Get her kind of in the program early. Some good smells, some good sounds. Get her sensory organs. Doesn't sound right, does it? Sensory organs? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, give her sensory uh, receptors. Is that a real, is that a scientific word? Her receptors, uh, <laughs> her receptors uh, started into the right direction. So we're going to be up there for a while. So we, um, I think all, all told, I think we'll be a 10 days, 10 day trip. And um, so we'll hopefully get some neat footage with her. Karen will get some quality time too. Karen's going. So Karen will get some quality time hanging out with her. And uh, the little Shih Tzu, Bo is going with us, as well as the crazy maniac, Duke, Duga. They say he's full boxer, but man, I don't know. I think all the scar scars have kind of healed up on my hand pretty good, but he and I have had a go at it here and there. But anyway, I really do ramble, don't I? We're getting that little puppy. Oops, my other hand just hit that. That's not good. My, uh... And it's humid. It is just not even beginning to set up. So the puppy and the October trip. You gotta help me focus. Um, so that's... We got that going on in October, so that's part of it. Uh, the, the trip in itself... Exciting again. I've already mentioned it's season ten, but we're filming for season ten, Migration Nation. Very fortunate to be a part of being allowed to be a part of that whole organization and, and project. Drake Waterfowl itself, as well as Road Dog Media. Um, looking forward to trying to step up my video each year. Seems like I try to. I say that I'm going to, and I think I did last year. And hopefully this year too. I'm just hopefully step up my my video production. And um, see what we can see my little side videos that I can do while we're there. The if you followed along any if you <laughs> if you follow along any with us on Instagram, you know. We've got the Pit Boss Grills Tailgater. It's actually a little bit bigger than a tailgater. It's the 440, which does fold down just like the tailgater. We've got it. It's already sitting in the truck, ready to go. We plan on doing some, some good eating up there while we're there. We'll get into some seafood. We're not really taking any food with us, so we're kind of going to play it by ear when we get there. Karen's excited with the black Vicky with the black pearl cookbook. Karen's taking the cookbook along and, and we're going to use some of Vicky's recipes for uh, for some geese and some duck. Yeah, and we'll just kind of see what we see what they got up there. So yeah, we'll just kind of see what they got up there. I had to cut that because I said where we're headed. <laughs> it's not that big of a secret, but I just figured it'd be best not to say it right at the moment until we actually make it happen. Um, so again, nice trip there. Should be a nice trip. Set up to be a nice trip. There's a, uh, the Canada geese and the ducks. And then there's a neat little twist, which I'd love to share right now, which I'm not going to. 
You can cuss me on that if you want. But, um, I will say this. Drake Waterfowl has entered. If you haven't followed along and seen anything, didn't see any of the iCast videos from back in July, uh, Drake Waterfowl has entered the fishing world as far as clothing line goes. And, um, Right, a very happy Wednesday morning to everybody. Karen and I have made it to Orlando, Florida, ICAST 2018, and we're here with Drake Waterfowl. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. it's Drake Fishing. Check it out, Karen. Drake Fishing, all new fishing apparel coming very soon. Please, if you would like to, somehow, I don't know how. Drake has let me hijack their Instagram account today, so if you'd like to follow along with us today, go over to at Drake Waterfowl and check out their stories. Thank you, we are. Woo! should be some pretty exciting fishing. Hint, hint, hint. Some big fish. In my mind, they're big. Words are relative, I know. But in my mind, they are the possibility of being some big fish. How about that? Talking bigger than me fish. So to me, that's big. It's humid, man. Maybe I should break down Put a little air conditioner in here. That would surely help. If anybody has a little air conditioner out there and not using a little old window unit, let me know. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put one right there. I don't know. Too many projects. No, that's not going to happen right now. So, our Canada trip, I'll get back on target. Once we get back, have about a day or two, maybe three days, and then the Maryland sea duck season starts, which we will be going full bore. I think right now all I have is there's three days in November. Christmas Day is open, Christmas Eve is open, and then three days in November. So we get home, I get right into it, Karen's got a day or two to recover from travel and the puppy and anything else that's transpired during the trip before she goes back to work. But I get ready. Oh, here's some geese. Yeah, there it is. It's like a single. Um, I get right into it on that Saturday. November 3rd is the Maryland Sea Duck season when it starts. And then, man, as soon as that week's get through that next week, and then, bam, it's the Easton Waterfowl Festival. If you've never been to the Easton Waterfowl Festival and you're halfway close to Easton, Maryland, you need to get there. It's an awesome weekend. Usually the weather's perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. No humidity. I tell you, I don't like humidity. No humidity. And uh, should be a good weekend. I am going to be there at the Molly's Outdoors booth. Not booth or tent. Cheeky's putting up, Cheeky and Nicky are putting up a huge tent. 
And um, underneath that, they'll have incorporate many, 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 many brands, one being Drake. So uh, Tate Wood's coming up, David Frisbee's coming up, and um, Charlie McDaniels. And I'm going to be over there, have a, a uh, Friday, Saturday, th- sorry, it's a three-day trip, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And uh, Saturday, I think they're going to, they're from North Carolina, and they're going to go over and take advantage of seeing the show too. So as soon as I get done that Saturday, get myself cleaned up, go over there, hang out for the in the booth on that Saturday afternoon, spend the night, and then hit it hard on Sunday. So again, I'll repeat that. Easton, Easton, Maryland. Home of the World Goose Calling Contest, the Live Duck Contest, and a couple other contests in there too, I believe. It attracts people from all around the world. Yes, Jeff Irvine, all the way. Can't say down on her because that'll upset Karen. So we'll say <laughs> in the Southern Hemisphere, our good Kiwi friends. They're even coming all the way from New Zealand, the South Island, to the Eastern Show. So yeah, it does. Uh, it does attract people from we can say from around the world. Good time, good friends, good food, maybe a little good drink. We shall see how that plays out. And um, I'm already into November, but October's a good month. Maybe I waited a, a day or two long to start this, but not really. But if this was last week, it wouldn't have, wouldn't hurt my feelings. So I'm going to get these steel done. I think there's 22 in total, and I got a dozen widgeon to do, which they're halfway sealed up, which I'm going to, once these steel are done right now, I'm going to get back on sealing the widgeon up. A very happy Monday to everyone. Thinking of you, we are. Thinking of you, we are. Actually, I think Karen wants to go try fishing today, so hopefully we get a sheep's head. Wouldn't mind having some fish today to go along with that awesome top sirloin roast last night we did. Cut that stuff up thin. It was very good. All right, but but sincerely, this afternoon, hopefully y'all... Throw this on the editor real quick. I'm not going to edit this video much. I'm going to start trying to do more of these videos where there's not a whole lot of editing involved. It, make, it does make it easier on me when I don't have to edit as much. And um, get it up on YouTube soon. So, the widget aren't thinking of you because they're not, they're not that far along. But the teal, they're definitely thinking of you. And a very happy Monday to everyone. Woo!